Fair Map Coalition. So we want you to take action. Okay, you with me? Yeah. Everyone play yeah. state action? Yeah. All right. So we're all happy to answer a few questions. Yes, ma'am. My question is, because you're dealing with quantity, that it's supposed to be equal quantity, but how do you determine to make sure you have equal voting, eligible voters within that sector so that you make sure that there isn't an unevenness for the voting right. board? So there are an infinite number of ways to draw districts that are of equal population. What we want to make sure we do is follow the other constitutional requirements. So first, we have to make sure that underrepresented communities, primarily African American and Latino voters, get a chance to elect representatives that represent their community. We want to keep communities of interest together. Districts have to be contiguous. And they have to make some sort of sense, right, when you look at the map. But we think it should be a constitutional requirement that people aren't uh, unable to elect the majorities of their choice because they happen to be in the minority party in the year after the districts get drawn, right, in the year the districts get drawn. So the idea is that we're putting a constitutional requirement in place. If we win our case, that there will be an additional constitutional requirement. Lots of different ways that the Voting Rights Act gets implemented, and the experts in the system make sure that uh, that the constitutional requirement is there.